defense is hard when you're really working hard to take the guy down. And you'll get tired. Okay, Mike, what I'm getting at is when we're when we catch this position, right, or these hooks when we're in this, we got hooks right here. Alright, and we're here. And he's underneath us. To score on the really good guys, I have to put some effort and energy into it. And it could be, it's tough, okay? But that's why this is a common position right here, guys. It's very common to get in this front head, underhook, mixer position. It's very common, okay? And then what the better guys are good at doing is they're good at getting this guy moving. They're good at getting this arm out and getting here. All right, you can do, you got your knee taps, right? I'm here, I can knee tap him, he comes up. Okay, I'm circling, maybe I reach for the leg, squares up, the arm comes back, right here. Right? A lot of times for me, I'll catch this when stuff's happening. Not always like, man, I caught him, I'm holding on to him, I'm kind of hanging out, I'm just hanging out, I'm hanging out, then I go. It'll happen from motion. It'll happen from, maybe I try to, I'm down. Okay, maybe I try to go here, he swears up. Now we're here. Look, that knee's down. Does that make, does that make sense? The houses. Wham. You go. Okay? That's when it can be deadly. That's when it can be games. And yeah, let's talk about it. So, some people are, might have a theory, don't ever roll across your back. I get it. That's really good advice. Right? Somebody might be like, the, the percentages there is it's bad news for you, you can get caught. Awesome advice. But, um, I, to be honest with you guys, looking back when I was wrestling as a kid, um, and kind of how I developed from my youth into high school, and then, um, you know what, I was lucky to wrestle in college. I wish I had maybe had just a little more um, outside the box stuff thrown at me. And, and, I, and my coaches throughout my life were really good at recognizing I have potential to do a lot of stuff. You know, I can, I can throw a little bit. I obviously did freestyle, I did Greco, right? You know, I, I won a lot of matches in, in folk style and as a little kid, junior high, even high school, right? And I won some in college. I struggled at the Division I level. But um, what I'm saying is the really, really good coaches in my life, um, they were pretty good about throwing stuff at me, but I wish I'd have had a little more. You know what I mean? I wish I would have had a little more. Uh, I was naturally okay at scrambling, just for whatever reason. Didn't know a lot of actual techniques in the system of scrambling, but I was pretty good at it. Um, you know, wrestling into cradles, wrestling into like assassins and reverse headlocks and things of that nature. This little mixer series, man, it goes good together. It's, it can become a tangible weapon for you, right? Because what happens if you get, if you develop a good one and, there, and that guy's like, it's the big match and that coach is He's like, hey, all right, let's go. Hey, remember, when you get caught underneath, you gotta be aware. You have to be aware. You gotta have elbows in, you gotta attack hands, get to an elbow, get to a hip, you better be aware down there. Now the dude's thinking about stuff, right? And if that guy at all has any kind of weaknesses in the mental approach, when you're banging on that guy and you're wrestling, all of a sudden you catch that front head and you bounce him down, now the dude's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And now he's thinking straight defense. And that's where now you can start moving around and it doesn't have to be a mixer. It doesn't have to be a mixer twister. It doesn't have to be just a knee tap. It can be everything. Jam it. But like one of the easiest ones is this one. Where'd you go? Activity, right? Chain wrestling, activity, right? I could catch this guy and bang him down, right? And really try to punch and run him over. And what's he gonna do? He's gonna fight where? He's gonna fight down. And this is where we can pull this out and go to a go behind, right? I'm here and I might try to really challenge him. Rah! There. And as soon as he does that, look, I go right here. 
A lot of times that elbow comes out. When you start challenging the guy, you ever see the, you ever see the dudes that hold the big pole and they go on a tightrope? They're like, what's that big pole for? Balance, right? So watch, when you get guys underneath you and you start challenging their body and their position, it's natural for arms to do this. Why? Balance and feel. Balance. Right? And that's where you can catch a guy in a mixer. A lot of those really good college guys that got them, they're just, they're malicious with it. They're nasty. Okay? You have to literally be, your dad has to be Zeus, and your mom has to be Athena, and your grandpa has to be Shrek to get out of that. I've only seen one guy do it. Guess who it was? Logan Stever. I've seen Logan Stever this deep on his feet against one of the best guys ever to do it and get out. That's because he had biological parents, but his scientific freak of nature parents were Zeus, Athena, and Shrek. All right? Freak. You're a freak of nature if you get out of something this like. I guess one of the best guys ever do it. Watch it. Tony Ramos had him dead to rights. On his feet, and say turn. And he was like, no. I got him. Right? So when you're doing it, keep in mind with your short offense, okay? Now here's what I want you to do. Bottom guy. Go about, go a little less than half. But your partner is eventually going to whip you through. And I want the top guy, I want you to move around. Look, top guy, watch. Nice and easy. I'm relaxed with my mind right now. I'm relaxed with my mind, and I'm just going to do something. I'm going to work from this position. Okay? And I'm just going to, I'm going to bounce him down. I'm going to switch my shoulder, and I'm going to bounce him down. As soon as I feel him come up, maybe I try to go here and react. Okay? Mess around, push into him, bounce down, switch your shoulder, bottom guy, just react. And I want you to look to whip him through. And here's the thing, guys, look. When I'm whipping through, boom, I get up right here. And I'm out to the side. And I'm elevating his head. Some dudes will do this. They'll bring this arm like this. And now they're here. It takes that bridge away. Everybody got it. Go out and play and work. Just be good partners for each other. And stay close to them. Don't get loose with your head. Your head should be real far away from them. Your head's got to be tight to his body. All right? Okay, go. 